Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively, and I want to share with you another book that I have, A Passion for Japan by Sarah Musio. Please look her books up if you're interested in Asian art. She's fantastic. Uh, this picture is partially colored here on the front and on the back. Beautiful, nice, sturdy cover on this book. Gorgeous. There's uh, designs inside of some lanterns. This is everything Japan. And in the back also, um, the cover has <clears throat> this design here and then more lanterns in the back. So that's uh, beautiful. The paper is just gorgeous. Um, I'm using watercolor on it right now, and it's just fine. Um, this is an introduction with the beautiful flowers and vases here. <clears throat> Her work is just stunning. Okay, and here is one of the pictures that got me to buy this book, this uh, bridge. There's a lot of double-page spreads in here. And I'm just very thrilled with her work and the quality of paper that they have. It is double-sided, but I've used some watercolor on it, and I haven't had any trouble. If you just control the water, you won't have any trouble of at all. Her style is unique. This is an umbrella here. And there are some design pages, pattern pages that are very Asian. And this tree that grows in Asia with the tiny, tiny flowers. And it's all flowers. <clears throat> this one is one that really attracts me, this headdress. And to be able to do it with my graphitant, graphite colored pencils from Spectrum Noir and Derwent. That's what I want to do on this one. <clears throat> Lovely double page spread again. Here too. Here is the vase and flower and here's the close up. I sort of like the way she does that. <clears throat> and this is a close up of the fish we saw earlier. In the lily pads, the bamboo is gorgeous with the design in it. And here's another pattern page that's truly Asian design. Um, writing tools, calligraphy. Beautiful fans, decorative fans. This one I really like too with the teapot and the plant to here and teacups. And this is Japanese theater. I have to look up what color these costumes are when I get ready to color that. Another tree with tiny blossoms. It's all flowers. And this too is a unique design. An Asian design. And this is the lanterns. The little different ones than we saw on the inside cover.
This is a close-up of this picture. And look at these birds with their decorative um, well, she's drawn designs in them. Kimono. Temple. Unique, unique Asian pattern. Gorgeous here. See how nice and heavy that paper is? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Dragons. This one has a background. And this is the front cover of the book. This is the one I really want to do. And these birds are Asian birds. I looked them up and to see what color they were. Very unique. And a lot of autumn leaves and a mountain here in the distance in autumn. Autumn in Japan is gorgeous if you look at some pictures on the internet. These are good luck plants that uh, someone gave me one one time. And some beautiful cherry blossoms. This is gorgeous too. Lilies. Japanese theater. I have to look up the what these costumes look like in real on uh, the internet. A mask and some flowers. And that's it. And this is my book by Sarah Musio. I hope you've enjoyed the flip through. And until we meet again, happy coloring.